All right, so in our last video, we talked about metals, right? Yeah, we looked at some examples, explored their properties, like how they, how shiny they are, whether they are good conductors of heat and electricity and all those cool stuff. But today, we are switching things up. This time, we are focusing on non-metals. Non-metals. So, let's check out a few of them. I have got some of them arranged here. We have got carbon. Yep, that is carbon right there. Then we have sulfur. See this yellow stuff? That's sulfur. Next, we have got iodine and finally phosphorus. Now, phos phosphorus, you see it in powder format right now, but it actually comes in uh, little, little red crumbs, kind of like sulfur, but a red in color. All right. Yes. So what's the plan? Well, we are going to take a closer look at each of these and analyze its properties and see how they differ from metals, like in terms of these properties. All right. Let's take a closer look at the surface of these non-metals and see what type of substances they are. Alright, I am starting with sulfur here. So here is sulfur, this yellow colored substance. So if you look closely, you can notice that it's not shiny at all. Unlike the metals we looked earlier in the previous video, right? There is no luster here. So we can say that uh, sulfur do not have a metallic luster. No luster. Let's see who is up next. Oh yeah, phosphorus. Now how phosphorus in powder format, but even if you see it in the crumb format or the solid format, it's still not shiny at all. It doesn't uh, uh, reflect the light like the way it, uh, metal would reflect light. It does not sparkle, nothing. So again, phosphorus, we can say, have no luster. Next up, yeah, iodine. Okay, iodine is interesting. If you take a closer look, you see that a bit of a shine, like metallic shine, a tiny bit of luster here and there. So unlike sulfur and phosphorus, iodine does have a luster. That makes it slightly different from others. So we can conclude that iodine have luster. Who is up next? Yes, carbon. Look at this. There is no way we can call this shiny, right? It's a dull black. Even though you might see a tiny bit of light reflecting off completely, but it's not lustrous. So carbon, no. No luster at all. So we see that iodine is an exception, right? Out of all the non-metals that we looked at, carbon, sulfur, phosphorus, and iodine, only iodine has a luster. So it's an exception. So we can generally say that while metals are very shiny, most of the non-metals are not, right? Except for iodine. All right, so let's check out the property of uh, hardness, malleability, and ductility. First, let's quickly get over the what these mean. Hardness is just how hard or soft a substance is. And what is malleability? Some materials can be beaten into thin sheets. This property is called malleability. And some materials can be drawn into thin wires. This is called ductility. Right? All right. So now let's bring in our non-metals one by one and test them out. First up, sulfur. How do we check if it's hard? Simple thing. Bring a hammer and hit it. What happens? It crumbles, just breaks apart, right? So sulfur, we can say, is not hard at all. It's soft, brittle, non-malleable, and non-ductile either. Who's next? Phosphorus. Well, this one already in powder format. So we do we need to hammer them and show that it is brittle? No, right? We can already tell that phosphorus is brittle. And of course, it is not malleable and ductile. Now let's test iodine. Again, let's bring in the hammer and give it a hit. What happens? It crumples just like sulfur and phosphorus. So what is my conclusion or what is our conclusion from this? Iodine is soft. Not malleable, not ductile. You cannot draw iodine, iodine into wires or you cannot beat them into thin sheets. Right? And finally, carbon. If you hit with the carbon, you know what will happen, right? It crumbles too. So carbon is also brittle, right? Carbon is brittle, not malleable and not ductile. But there is a small catch for carbon. We'll see that soon, right? Carbon, in not in all formats, are so soft. Yeah. Okay. So what, what is the conclusion from this? If we did the same test on metals, what would happen? Right? What would happen? They wouldn't break. They wouldn't break. Metals are hard, 
malleable and ductile which means they can be beaten into thin sheets and drawn into thin wires but for non metals in general soft brittle non malleable non ductile with a few exceptions all right so we explored the non metallic properties of these substances carbon iodine phosphor and sulfur let's quickly do a recap uh, they do not have what we call metallic luster uh, except for iodine right and they are soft brittle non malleable and non ductile right very different from metals but here there is an exception that is different forms of carbons are there which is an exception for being soft brittle and all right we'll see that in detail in the next chap next video so we are not done yet there are still a few more properties to check that is electrical conductivity thermal conductivity and sonority and we'll be exploring that in the next video